Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, my name is Michael Shu and welcome. Today we're talking about everything you need to know about crash pads. What is a crash pad? How much does it cost? When you need a crash pad? And where to find a crash pad? If you guys aren't subscribed, I really appreciate it. If you guys went down and smash the subscribe button, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It's going to help me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. First off, what is a crash pad? A crash pad is very similar to a hostel, but for pilots. If you guys don't know what a hostel is, it's like a hotel, but it's a lot cheaper and not as nice. They'll typically be one room with three or four bunk beds so they can pack as many people in there as possible. However, not all the beds are gonna be filled up every single day as pilots are always coming in and going out at different times. You may be going to bed with three other people in the bunks and wake up and all the other bunks are filled or you might go to sleep with five other people in bunk beds but when you wake up, it's only you. A crash pad is a place for pilots to stay when they are not at their home. Like I said, it's like a hotel but it's not as nice and a lot of times you are sharing the space with many other different pilots. And it's not only for pilots, sometimes our mechanics or flight attendants or other people that work for the airline. So you don't have to be a pilot just to stay at the crash pad. When would you need a crash pad? Typically, you would get a crash pad when your base is not at your home. For example, I live in San Diego right now. However, my base is in Seattle. It's gonna be hard for me to commute all the way to Seattle when my workday starts at 8 a.m. Maybe there's not enough flights for me to get to Seattle that early, or I don't wanna be at work late, so I would go to Seattle the day before, and that's when I would stay at a crash pad. For me, I'm currently on reserve in Seattle, which means I have to be at Seattle during my reserve period. However, when I get called, I have to report to the airport. So when I'm on reserve, I wanna be in Seattle, but since I don't live in Seattle, that's when I would get a crash pad. So normally you would get a crash pad when your base is not your home. Other reasons why your base wouldn't be at your home is maybe because you live in a city where your airline just doesn't have a base in that city. In that case, you might get a crash pad in the city you're based in or you just might commute. I personally like the crash pad instead of commuting. I think commuting is tired and exhausting. Having a crash pad is nice. You get to go the day before, just sleep there, wake up. You don't have to worry about too much commuting, whether you're gonna miss flights, traffic, all that stuff. However, when you do commute, you take time away from your office. So that is a downside to traveling for your base. You guys might be wondering how much a crash pad costs. However, there are many different types of crash pads and each crash pad's price is gonna be different depending on the location, the amenities, the condition of the crash pad, there's so many variables that come into cost. However, I think five to six, even 600 might be a little bit high. I would say anything below $500 would be a good price for a crash pad. You guys might be wondering, where do you go find these crash pads? Maybe you just finished airline training and you got a base that's not your home and you need to look for crash pads. Well, there are several different places that you can look for crash pads. Number one is internet, right? Internet has everything. Where I am staying in my crash pad in Seattle, I found online and recommended to me by a friend. Another way is to join Facebook groups for crash pads. There are a ton of Facebook groups out there that you can find a crash pad in the city. Another way that I've heard that people found crash pad is just word of mouth. So when you're flying with a captain or you're with your classmates from training or you know of someone, it's all word of mouth. So definitely ask around people that you know of in the airlines, if you have any friends in that city that they live in, flight attendants that you're on a trip with, just ask them about crash pad. Oftentimes they'll know someone that has availability for a crash pad in that city. So definitely, internet, great way to find crash pads if you don't know anyone in that city. Join Facebook groups. There are a lot of Facebook groups out there advertising crash pads. You might find great deals there. Last but not least is word of mouth. Ask around, ask the flight attendants, ask captains, ask any friends or families that you know of in that city. 
Last but not least, let me tell you about the crash pad I stay in, which I like a ton. It's called Hotel Crash Pads. If you just search on Google Hotel Crash Pads, it's gonna be the first thing that pops up. And I personally really like this crash pad for a few different reasons. Number one, it's not too expensive. It's around the $500 range. And number two is that it's in a hotel, which is awesome but you don't get the hotel room to yourself. Like I said, there's, they use one room and they turn it into a crash pad. So the bedroom of the crash pad, like I said, there's four bunks so that could fit eight people, but because it's in a hotel, there's cleaning every day. For me, I personally want a crash pad that's clean. So they have someone that comes and cleans the rooms every single day, which I really like. I think cleanliness, a place that's clean, is probably one of the most important things for me. Because it's also part of the hotel, you also get access to all its facilities. So you get to use the gym, the swimming pool, all of that is included. So I personally like that. There's also a shuttle bus from the airport to the crash pad. That's super convenient, especially when you come in on midnight flights and the Ubers are gonna be super expensive because you're coming in at odd hours. You just call the hotel, the shuttle comes and picks you up, super convenient. But those are all reasons I really love hotel crash pads. And they also have breakfast, which is nice. Who doesn't like breakfast? They're not gonna be five-star breakfast, but there's something for you to eat there every morning. So I highly recommend hotel crash pads for several different reasons. It's a good price, it's clean, there's breakfast, shuttle, and you get to use all its facilities. So I highly recommend hotel crash pads. The downside to hotel crash pads is they're not in every single city. They're in the major cities, however. So if you're in LA or Seattle, Denver, they all have hotel crash pads there, which is part of the hotel, like I said. So I highly recommend checking out hotel crash pads if you guys are based in one of those cities. If you guys do decide to get a crash pad with hotel crash pads, I would really appreciate it if you just put my name, Michael Shu, in the referral. I would super appreciate it. And it's just a few clips. It's gonna help me out a ton. So if you do get a crash pad, which I highly recommend, getting with hotel crash pad just please put my name in the referral that's gonna be it about crash pads in this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something new crash pad is still a new experience for me as it's my first month on reserve and I'm still learning all the tricks and stuff to crash pads but I gotta say I am definitely really happy with hotel crash pads with the cleanliness with the food using the gym with the shuttle Highly recommend it. So if you guys do use that, be sure to put my name. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys have any other questions you want to ask about airlines or training, be sure to shoot me a message on Instagram at MichaelHSU95. I would really appreciate it. I love reaching out to different pilots and talking to them and listening to their journey. So please leave a message or leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.